Non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Okay? Important, see all these little blood vessels in here? There's a plexus of blood vessels. Okay, and it, the, these, this plexus drains into the hemorrhoidal veins. We got one here, and we got one here. Okay? I think this one drains into the um, hepatic portal system. That's why it's shown purple. That's a superior hemorrhoidal vein. And this inferior hemorrhoidal vein uh, must end up in the inferior vena cava. People who destroy their liver through hepatitis or through... Uh, uh, alcohol, alcoholics, uh, end up making the liver impassable to blood and so it has to back up and it backs up like <laughs> through this uh, hemorrhoidal vein here, goes through the hemorrhoidal plexus and goes here into the inferior vena cava. That puts a lot of strain on the hemorrhoidal plexus and they blow up like big balloons and dangle out and they're called hemorrhoids. hemorrhoids. Okay, They're called hemorrhoids. And the other thing, if we, we kind of pan up to here, nice and slowly, yeah. and if we get up here, the reason I wanted to come up here is to point out something we haven't talked about in this review much at all. These folds that go around the inside of the small intestine are called what? Plica circularis. Plica circularis. Good. Okay. And here's a plica. And what are the little things sticking off of it? The finger-like projections sticking off of it. Villi, not micro. These are villi. These these have got a lamina propria core. These are nice big villi. Where does the microvilli start? In? Well, microvilli would then be if we took one of these villi and blew it up to a huge, so you can see the columnar cells. But it's on all villi. Yeah, all the villi in the small intestine have microvilli. Uh, the colon has microvilli. Stomach does not. Okay? But the colon has microvilli. Colon has a striated border. Okay, we need to like look at another chart. And, and so we come up here and we look at the mouth. Uh, this uh, lumen is the what? Oral cavity. This lumen is what? Oral vestibule. This opening is what? Oral orifice. Oral orifice. This opening is what? Fossies. I don't know, are, are you seeing down here too? Sorry, I want to jump. Okay, this opening is what? Fossies. This structure is what? Epiglottis. Now, why am I talking about epiglottis? I thought we did that in the respiratory system. Because it's part of the uh, digestive system, making sure that uh, food goes not down here into the windpipe, but around and down here into the esophagus. Okay? Um, that's about it on, on stuff to review on this one. Oh, on what? Oh, teeth. I mean, you know teeth. Take a quick look at some models. Uh, this is the model of what organ? Small intestine. Small intestine. Okay, now we run into a little bit of a, of a problem here. Uh, is the small intestine an organ? Is the duodenum an organ? That's part of the small intestine. Okay, I'll have to remember to ask the very specific portion of the small intestine, the very specific portion of the organ, huh? Like, could yeah. Name the organ, name the portion of the organ. Good. Uh, Kelly's TA in know. another class now, so she's starting to get on this hang of we asking don't questions, two questions and stuff. Guys, we get two extra points, and you know the answer. Easy questions, huh? Okay, duodenum. What tells us it's a duodenum? Bruce gland. gland, right here. What's this big clump of stuff? Lymphoid nodule, isn't it? Got some lymphoid nodule here. What are these structures? Villi. 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 Structures, plural. Villi, plural. Okay. What's this green thing down the center? Lacteal. Lacteal. What are the little blue things? Goblet cells. Goblet cells. Goblet cells. Can you see the tiny little dots down here? What are those? Yes. Nuclei. It's okay, Jennifer. You can say it. Yeah. Nuclei. Okay. And the model maker was so lazy he didn't put them in all the cells. He just put them in a couple. Uh, and that, what do you leave off of these nuclei of this columnar cells? 
What do you leave off of these columnar cells? Microvilli. Microvilli. That's where his scale quit, right? Okay. What tunic is this? Tunica mucosa. This layer? Muscularis, Muscularis mucosa. Tunic? Submucosa. Tissue? Dense white fibrous. Dense white fibrous or, or lo even loose. It's somewhere between dense and loose uh, connective tissue. Okay. Tissue? Muscles. Muscles. Smooth muscle. Okay. Is this circular or longitudinal? That's circular. Circular. Okay. Therefore, what perspective are you looking at here? Cross. No. It's a longitudinal section. Longitudinal cuts the crosswise and follows the longitudinal. If I take this and rotate it 90 degrees, now you're looking at the cross section that follows the circular and cuts across the longitudinal. Okay. Now if I look on down, okay, what tunic is this? Muscularis. Muscularis. And what tunic is down here? Serosa. Serosa. So again, we can look at this, and we got a whole bunch of questions we can do there, don't we? Okay. Identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. Simple squamous. Simple squamous epithelial tissue. Identify the tissue by its location. Mesothelium. Mesothelium. Identify the type of membrane. Serous. Identify the membrane by its cavity that it defines. Peritoneum. Just peritoneum defines a peritoneal cavity. Identify the membrane by its best location. Parietal, yeah, yeah, you're right, Daniela. It's parietal because what? Because the duodenum is retro peritoneal, isn't it? Okay, duodenum is retro peritoneal. I have a question about the tunics. When the, if the one that has the longitudinal, does it normally go in an order, circular, longitudinal? Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, circular, oblique, and then longitudinal? Where does the oblique fit in? There's no oblique in intestine. Oblique is only in stomach. But when okay. it comes, is there an order that they fall off? I don't remember. I, yeah, I think it's between, but I don't remember. And under the cirrhosis, is that dense? That, is that loose and the orange is dense? I think there may be uh, the, the, some loose, which is actually the orange, and a denser that is the gray. Okay? Uh, but I, I don't think there's that much distinction. Okay. Okay. This could have been a tumor. Yeah, it's tunica serosa because we have the simple squamous epithelium, and Caroline's question is, well, what about the adventitia? Well, the adventitia would be, like, if you took this and stripped off the squamous epithelium, that's what the adventitia would look like, because the adventitia would be where this duodenum is against the body wall and does not have a free surface, therefore it has no epithelial tissue. Okay? Now, we come over to this poor little model. This is a model of a what? Villas. Of a villas. Okay. And here, the kind of brown structure up the middle is what? Lacteal. Lacteal. White things are goblet, goblet cells. cells. And here, I see a bunch of little lines painted out here on the surface. What are those supposed to represent? The microvilli. Yes. Okay. Um, another model. Okay, which, by the way, I look out here and it costs three hundred and two dollars. Just thought I'd keep pointing out to you that some of these are sort of expensive models. Uh, identify the organ. Pancreas. Pancreas. 